All right, just taking a quick look at this Delta Pro 3. So not 2, not the Delta Pro 2. I don't know <laughs> I don't know what happened to that one, unless they're counting the Ultra as the 2. Or, I don't know, maybe they were just worried there's too many Delta 2s already. There's the regular Delta 2, Delta 2 Max. Yeah, that's probably what it is, isn't it? They probably just said, screw it, let's just go to 3. Yes, yeah, so this is the third one. And... Yeah, we will talk about kind of the comparison to the original Delta Pro. Well, kind of the biggest differences. We'll kind of do that at the end of the video. But uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. There's not, there's not really a huge difference here. I mean, the biggest, the biggest change is the fact that you can do 240 volts with just one of these. Just one of them. You know, this picture here, we're showing two of them. It's just because this is the random picture that I grabbed. It has nothing to do with the 240 outputs. If you want 240 volts, yeah, you just need one of the units. In fact, they're right here. It's this section right here. It's 240 volts. The other one's 120. So that's the biggest difference. We'll talk about the, all the little stuff, you know, as I said, at the end of the video. This box here, this is just if you want more AC power. You know, so what does this thing got? The single unit here has got 4,000 watts output AC. So that's a lot. If you want, <laughs> hey, if you want 8,000, yeah, you can get this box and you have to do this. Kind of the whole point of this new product is you don't really want to have to use these boxes, do you? Because that was like the old one. That was like this one. You know, if you wanted 240 volts, you could get it you'd have to hook them up in parallel and all the boxes and stuff. So I don't know, to me, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, 4,000 watts, that's good enough, isn't it? It is good enough because think about it. If you need to power like something that's almost 8,000 watts, <laughs> hey, good luck. You might be able to power it for a few moments, but you're not going to, it's kind of pointless, isn't it? I mean, how much battery capacity are you going to need to really be able to power a load like that for, you know, a long time, a, a decent amount of time even? You know, you can only go up to 48, you can only go up to 48 kilowatt hours with this thing right here. We're going to refer back to this diagram a lot, in fact. So, you know, even 48 kilowatt hours, you know, if you're pushing 8,000 watt outputs, Heck, you know what? Hey, you know, even if you're just pushing 4,000 watts with one unit, you're going you're gonna to burn through, you're going to burn through all your battery capacity in no time. You know, and if you want 48 kilowatt hours, you know, that's a, think about how much money that's going to be. It's going to be like 40 grand. <laughs> and then you still don't even, you don't even have solar or anything like that yet, do you? So this is where I would kind of say like, this product, it's, you know, when you look at everything on paper, it sounds great, but in practice, it's not, it's not, it's not, it doesn't really make a whole, <laughs> it doesn't really make sense because a 4,000 watt inverter to power large loads, like huge loads, yeah, you don't really have enough battery capacity to, to really do it a whole lot. Honestly, you know what I would say? <laughs> I would say go for a smaller unit and try to find appliances that have less demand, less power demand. There's a lot of things, you can pretty much do everything you want if you can find the right appliances. I mean, hey, hey you could get like a little Jackery 500, like less than $500, 500 watt inverter, you know, the specs on it, yeah, they're, they're not good. But the point is, <laughs> if you get the right little appliances, little cooking appliances, USB 12 volt stuff, fans, refrigerators, <laughs> you know, you can do, what are you really doing with this thing where you need 240 volts? You want to run, <laughs> you want to run your three, hey, you want to run your th three ton AC? <laughs> good luck, hey, good luck doing that. But if you're just looking at this product like thinking I can just buy, if I could just buy this one unit and I'll be set, 
to me, it's just silly. It doesn't make sense. Because this has only got a four kilowatt hour battery in it. And with this huge inverter too, even if you're, <laughs> hey, even if you're not powering a load, just turning, just turning this inverter on is going to use probably somewhere like around 40 watts. Just if you turn this button on. Turn that button on, it's probably going to use like 40 watts. Just powering the inverter. So you might say, well, I could get a, I could get this product and then, you know, maybe I don't want to, I don't want to run everything in my whole house, but maybe I, I want to run my full size refrigerator. Right. And I know that thing uses about one kilowatt hour, maybe a little, maybe it's one and a half kilowatt hours per day. Yeah. So you're looking at this thing thinking, well, this thing's got four kilowatt hours, just, you know, just this one unit. So you're doing the math. But guess what? <laughs> you forgot to you forgot to factor in the inverter here. If it's using 40 watts, think about it. That's every hour. That's 40 watt hours. You know, <laughs> do the math. Hey, do the math. Guess what? Over a 24 hour period, that's almost one kilowatt hour. Just the inverter. Just. Just not you're not even really accomplishing <laughs> you're not really accomplishing anything are you so again to me unless you want to go like all in on this system to me i would say <laughs> you know what you should do subscribe to my channel that's what you should do because guess what that's kind of the thing i like to talk about on my channel in all my videos is kind of doing a lot doing the most you can really everything everything that you really need to do you know to stay comfortable the modern conveniences of life do it with the smallest most efficient power station possible and it just it makes sense not only from powering things but from charging as well because if you want to rely on solar you know let's say there is an apocalyptic situation and there's no grid power. You're relying on solar. And, you know, especially if you don't have perfectly sunny days, you need you need to get by on a small amount of solar power, don't you? So, again, if you had this huge inefficient unit, it looks <laughs> it looks great. It looks fantastic. It looks awesome. And again, like the specs on paper are phenomenal. You're going to be screwed. <laughs> You're going to be screwed. Because again, like I said, just having this inverter on for a full day would use 25% of this battery. And yeah, you say, well, I, and you got this big inverter, you want to power a big load. There's, there's another huge part of the battery gone. Whereas if, you know, if you just had small, little efficient appliances, you could do so much more, you know, you could do so much more. So it, to me, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to go this route. And so, yeah, let's move on to the next part of the video. So this part you're probably thinking is going to be where we're going to do the testing. We're going to test this unit. We're going to test the new Delta Pro 3. We're going to see if all the specs are true. No, we're not. We're not. We never do that. We never, we never do that because to me, again, it's, it's a waste of time. It's really, it's really, so you want to see like, okay, you want to see if this 120 volts, is it really 120.0 volts? No, it's probably not. It's probably like 119.3 or maybe, Hey, <laughs> maybe it's like 119.7. You know what I mean? Like it's in the ballpark. Trust me, all of these all of these companies, even the budget brands now, guess what? This power station market, it's really started to mature. So, and a lot of these companies too, they don't make all their own stuff. You know, they get them from suppliers. In the budget brands, typically, a lot of times they use the same suppliers. And again, like I'm saying, there's so much money in this market and the, the market's matured so much. These companies, they know what they're doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if they say like this thing does 20 amps, it's going to do 20 amps roughly close enough within, you know, within a reason, a margin of error. 
you know, the same thing with, you know, 100 watt USB-C, it's going to be right there. <laughs> you know, these companies are so experienced now. There's no guesswork. It's not like it was a few years ago where you didn't know <laughs> maybe it was a good product. Maybe it sucked. There's no question anymore. Everything here is going to work as advertised. The only, really the only question is like reliability. <laughs> That's the biggest question. And in fact, it's a huge question when we're talking about a brand new unit. <laughs> I mean, you want to, you want to watch these videos. You're concerned, you know, whether the voltage is right on spec, whether, you know, the claimed number of amps is right, right exactly what they say, but then you want to go out and buy <laughs> a brand new unit, a brand new product. <laughs> Guess what? It probably does have an issue. It probably does have some problem. That's all, all brand new products have problems. There's always something, something gets missed. Something needs to be tweaked. <laughs> so, you know what I would say? Don't, don't buy this thing. You want to go out and buy this thing on day one? Really? And in fact, you can, you can tell, <laughs> you can tell these things are really starting to mature because when you start seeing these companies advertise stuff like this, sleek and striking, cutting edge design, <laughs> you know, there's nothing, there's nothing new here, is there? That's, that's why they're advertising something like that. There's nothing, all of these specs are, they're very similar to the old Delta Pro. They're very similar to the competition. And they're even similar to what all the other power stations have you know, the smaller ones, it's just scaled up. You know, it's more power. It's more solar capability, but it's all the same stuff. State-of-the-art LFP tech, it's all the same cells. There's just more, <laughs> there's just more of them, right? So you get it, right? 10 second UPS. Yeah, you can get that on like a $300 budget unit. So, you know, and then this ultra quiet, yeah, this is actually, this probably the, this might be the biggest change. Actually, you were wondering about that. Yeah, they've kind of revised. They've improved the cooling capabilities of this thing. So it's going to keep the unit itself cooler and it's going to make less noise. So there you go. That, I would say that's the big takeaway from this video, really. The other little thing I was going to talk about is the solar. So it's really nice. There's actually two inputs on this new Delta Pro 3. They're both XT60, but one's high voltage, one's low voltage. So, you know, the high voltage one's real similar to what the original Delta Pro had, but having that additional low voltage one is awesome because, especially for a lot of you guys that are doing van life, even just in an RV or something, if you, you know, you're traveling, you're moving, you know, in a vehicle with an engine and you got a flat roof with some solar panels up on top, it's so nice to be able to dual charge simultaneously. So, you know, you can have your solar array feeding the high voltage input and then you can just have, you know, your car socket feeding an extra 100 watts or so into the low voltage at, you know, simultaneously. So that's just awesome. And that's, that's kind of the setup you want to have if you are in a van or an RV. Don't, <laughs> don't go for that 800 watt. You've seen that new alternator charger, charge up to 800 watts from your alternator. I wouldn't recommend doing that <laughs> unless you want to replace your alternator like every year. You could, hey, <laughs> you could do that. There's no free lunch here, by the way. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it, sound, it sounds great. It would be nice to have an emergency for sure if, if you're really relying on solar and then you, you happen to have some bad weather, you know, which you usually don't have. That would be, I would say, okay, go for it for that. But don't, <laughs> don't rely on that. <laughs>